Destination Bundestag for a crash course on the details of democracy. 24 young women and men from Egypt, Tunisia and Yemen. They're here to watch German democracy in action and observe its rules of parliamentary debate. For some, it's an eye-opening experience. When I see the parliament in Egypt, the legislators there have no respect for the rules. When the parliament's president ejects someone from the room, that person just refuses to leave. And many keep on speaking after their allotted time is over. They spent four weeks in Germany and joined in the election campaign, like Ali Nasri from Tunisia. He handed out sausage snacks as a campaign worker for the left party, though he's a devout Muslim. He sees it as a chance to gain insights about Germany, but the candidates benefit too. He did great work for us, and he's got this fantastic smile that I'm sure gained us many new voters, especially female ones. On election day, they visited a polling station in Berlin. They said the actual process of voting doesn't differ much from their homelands. Show your ID, make your choices, drop the ballot into the box. But there are some differences. Where I'm from, the line was very long. I had to wait six hours before voting. And then, with dates and cookies on the table, the youngsters gather for their own election party. They were impressed by how quickly results were shown, calling it a sign of transparency. They also liked the respect for the results from winners and losers alike. The fact that the FDP, a great party, is now out of the Bundestag, that's democracy. It means they didn't do their work well. And they failed to convince the voters. The next day, the parliamentary routine continues for Mohamed Farali. He's glad his CDU lawmaker has been returned to parliament. He says the deputy's respect for the voters was a lesson in tolerance. I saw how my deputy stood in front of voters and answered their questions. Sometimes the questions were provocative, but he always responded politely and said the most important thing is to vote, no matter what party. That's an attitude they'll be bringing back to their hometowns, whether it's Tunis, Rabat or Cairo. I wish we had a parliament like this in Egypt. I think we can do it. The young women and men will be returning home in a few days, they say with valuable experiences on how to cultivate democracy in their countries.